It's not the superficial spiritual stuff where you just say your affirmations with no work and the people, the money, the business, the clients, the projects, they just come to you. It doesn't work like that. That's highly unlikely for the average person. I'm going to show you how to optimize your online space so you can start attracting clients versus having to chase them down for your offers. Before we get into all the juicy details, this is going to be step by step how you're going to arrange your marketing. But I want to talk about a couple of things because I like to point everything back to everyday life. If we know anything about the way energetics work and frequency is that you're always aligning with energies and frequencies that you are supposed to align with. So this means whatever you're putting out into the world, things and people that align with that energy that you're putting out is going to come back and meet you. It's universal law. So the same exact thing is going to go for your marketing and your content creation process or the sales that you're getting, the way that your business is going. All of that is a mirror to you and it's pointing back to you. So if you want to get the right people to come to you, you have to align with each other. So how do you exactly do that? That's what we're going to talk about here. How do you not chase people down to work with you? or not work with people who clearly don't value what you do or even value their own time at that. You curate your marketing and your content to attract your target market. Your people are out there. You're trying to attract them versus appealing to every single person. That's probably where you're going wrong right now. And this is attraction marketing. So we're going to talk about that. And it's not the superficial spiritual stuff where you just say your affirmations with no work and the people, the money, the business, the clients, the projects, they just come to you. It doesn't work like that. That's highly unlikely for the average person. You can do all of those things, but faith without work is dead. Y'all know how it goes. So you have to do some work and there is a game plan. I want to talk about that and we're going to get more into that, but there's a couple of things that you have to understand first. So let's talk about that. First things first, you have to know who your people are. And when I refer to your people, I'm talking about your target audience. Who are the people that you feel like you best serve? You're not out here trying to make everybody happy. You have a specific type of customer that has a problem that you can solve. So just start thinking about that customer and record different things about them. Put together a little profile for them. Give them a name. Think about their problems, their desires, their lifestyle, their characteristics, some thought patterns and beliefs that they have. Write all of that stuff down because you're going to use that later in your content. This is going to make up your messaging. Your messaging is very, very, very important just as much as the people that you're going to be serving. The second thing, you're going to have to understand the way content works and understand the content funnel and the typical customer behaviors before they even get to a point of engaging with your content or taking that next step to buy anything. It's usually the same process with most customers. The third thing, you should know what type of creator you are so you can be consistent. So this content creation and marketing doesn't overwhelm you and burn you out. What type of creator are you? Are you the intuitive and emotional creator? So you kind of go off of your feelings. Are you the logical and data-driven? creator. So you need the facts and the data to back you up. Or are you a good mix of both of those? There's a way that you can create content that's catered to both of these creators. So we all have a balance of this feminine and this masculine energy. So you could very well resonate with both, but being intuitive and logical in business are equally important. So even if you kind of lean to one, don't just hold yourself to one type, but definitely take note of which creator type you lean more toward. And most likely you will attract the same type of clients or the same type of buyer based on how you create. <laughs>